Yeah. All over LA mm-hmm. and Universal. Universal. Yeah. But we were we were out out of uh, six days. We were probably out three to four mm-hmm. on the streets and and uh, actual locations. No, you don't have time for rehearsals and television. No. Uh, movies, you have time for rehearsal. You might have time for rehearsal if you're doing a pilot, but that's it. After that, you're on your own. Oh, we get pages. We get pages, but they were trims and and whatever. Uh, there wasn't a lot of. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I think we were three days over schedule in six years. So and everything went very smoothly, and well, I, and I put together a crew, and I changed the production uh, in that uh, I cut out eight drivers and trucks. I mean, we're outside four days a week. And where do you park all these trucks? You know, And also all these drivers cost you money. So what I did, I got two semis, I bought two semis, and I outfitted the, the trailers to carry three or four different departments in those, just in those semis. And that cut out all those trucks. And we were doing them on schedule and on budget. And the second year, Universal sent out some efficiency experts to find out how we could do it and no one else could. And uh, there were two things involved. We cut down all this transportation and, and, and mess. And, oh, they were upset about it because they had a deal with the union yep. to hire so many people. Union came to me, and I said, why should I spend my money on something I don't need, gentlemen? Don't need them at all. And uh, they ended up making me an honorary teamster. <laughs> but it, it was cutting out the transportation and having people who melded well together. The crew was just a solid group and they were wonderful they knew their craft and if we had a bad apple he was out like that you know 